Show you my Joe Montana. <laughs> it was a speaking of Joe. Speaking of Joe Montana, I just picked up the Tar Heel. The number 16 the jersey. Phoenix jersey today. I don't have to wear it. It's the real deal. It's, it's you should you should have put it on. I should have put it on, but yeah. It's it's Chris just brought it to me. Yeah. All right, you ready? We're ready. Welcome to this week's East Tennessee Sports Report. I'm your host, Roddy Woods. You can see it's just me and the <laughs> coach tonight because everybody else, the judge is on the sick bed. Ashley is out. Will is out. So, me and the coach are going to take care of things tonight. So, coach. First of all, I don't have any elbow room. We're oh, missing you don't the have table. Your, okay. Uh, no, no, no. I'll, I'll give need, you a little just, bit. Just joking about we're missing a table missing because a the table. crew's missing. So, you know, gotta, it, yeah. what we're going to do? We're just two of us. <laughs> Well, can we handle it? You know, I'm just going to be silent and let you do all the time. Oh, man, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good at all. Well, since you're going to do that, I'm going to jump right in. Let's give okay. a thank, a shout-out to our sponsors. Crescent Center Drugs, Express Health Clinics, Smoky Mountain Home Health and Hospice right here in Newport, Tar Chevrolet, Fanatics 101 in the Johnson City Mall. Go buy and see KD. He'll fix you right up. And America's Mattress, if you're having a bad night's sleep, go see the gang at America's Mattress right here in Newport and Morristown. Chris, let's get started. Class. Did we give a shout out to Oh, and Brooklyn, Brooklyn Pizza Ria. You know, that's where we're coming from. Last week we were at uh, Brooklyn Pizza Ria's sister. We were at Riverstone Resort and Spa. So thanks goes shout out to goes to those people. They took very good care of us. Oh, yeah. Had a, a nice good time. Massage there. <laughs> yeah. uh, class one A. You know, Last week, we didn't do Class 1A, but I, we have to give a shout-out to Class 1A. You know what I'm calling this, Chris? This is the East Tennessee playoffs. It pretty much is. I mean, um, a lot of these local teams are in the championship. You got that right. Uh, we'll run through this pretty quickly. Uh, it was Coldfield and Midway, two East Tennessee teams. Then we had Nashville Christian and Union City. And Coldfield beat Midway 42-8. to eight. And Nashville Christian lost to Union City 35 to nothing. So it sets up this week's on December 5th. All the championship games will be played in Cookville at Tennessee Tech, home of the Eagles, I believe. But Cofield will take on Union City. Chris? Well, considering we haven't talked about either of those teams throughout the year, um, I'm just going to simply just – vote for this area, the East Tennessee side. So I'm going to pick Coldfield. Coldfields, they kind of walked a nice trail there a little early, beat a tough Greenback team. Yes, that they I did. Noticed. Which, uh, you know, Greenback, to only be single A, they, they took care of a, one of our teams, GP, yes. uh, Gatlinburg Pittman. So uh, Coldfield walked a nice little trail there and, and had some impressive wins. So I'm going for Coldfield. Coldfield, me you too. We'll take Coldfield, stay all East Tennessee. Uh, the second 2A, we're looking at Grace Christian out of Knoxville and Marion County and Adamsville and Memphis Peabody. And Grace lost to Marion County 24-15 and Peabody jumped all over Adamsville 42-31. Yeah. Uh, Mary, we don't, like you said, we don't know anything about these two teams, but Marion County, more East Tennessee push? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So well, we, we, we think we're going to go with Marion County. I see that... Uh, they beat in, you know Grace Christian uh, last week with uh, that's a pretty impressive win. Uh, like I said, don't know much about Marion County. These are teams we really haven't followed, but uh, like I said, we're glad to talk about them now because they they have accomplished something to get into the finals. Mm -hmm. But uh, once again, you know I'm going to stick with East Tennessee here. I like to see all the teams in East Tennessee kind of walk the trail and get a victory to come back with the big trophy. So uh, 
I'm going Marion County on this one. I guess I'll stick with Marion County, too, since we're in East Tennessee. And then we'll talk about the big oh game boy. here. This is this is one that we have had a chance to follow the team all year long. Gary Rankin's Tornadoes are. Oh. You saw them play against oh, Morristown yeah. East. Yeah. They are just a <laughs> good football team. That's all you can say. Oh, oh. You know what? I, I don't even have to pick this one. You guys know where <laughs> I'm going with this one. Alcoa, a dominant team. They took care of business in 3A. Probably should be playing in 6A. Uh, but they did have trouble. Let's talk about the trouble they did have. They, they, they didn't didn't do too well against Maryville, considering that was but like three, you said, yeah, should be in three degrees eight. higher. But uh, anyway, with that being said, they walked a nice trail, took care of some good teams. Like I said, I got a chance to see them defeat uh, Morristown East early in the season, and they, they just haven't looked back. So, uh, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to go with that other team. Oh, you are going to pick this team? Oh, you can, well, Alcoa. Before, before Alcoa. You I'm pick joking. Alcoa. Alcoa. Like, yeah, go ahead. Go pick, ahead. But before you pick, okay. Alcoa went up against Chattanooga Notre Dame. Yeah. A very good Chattanooga Notre Dame team. Okay. Uh, they beat Chattanooga Notre Dame 28 19. CPA beat a team that we picked last week, Milan. Yeah. We really thought we, Milan was well, going to upset CPA. We knew CPA was. We, I mean, we knew it had a good team, good program, ranked in the state high. But uh, like the judge was saying last week, with Milan, the the road they were taking, they were had a nice trail of upsetting some teams. Mm -hmm. They look good, and sometimes you you get that fire and pop towards the end of the season. So I was just kind of going with that little Cinderella pick, but you know, CPA probably was the better team. Yeah. Alcoa CPA, you've already chose Alcoa. I'm gonna jump right on that bandwagon. I'm going with Gary Rankin and his Tornadoes to win another state championship. Can y'all hear that? Bring home, bring home since, the gold. Since, since my Cyclones can't do it, the Tornadoes <laughs> win. Alcoa, all the way. We'll be right back here on the East Tennessee Sports Report right after this. We got some pizza to eat back here. We'll try it out. Almost six. So. Hi folks, this is Alonis Tarr, Tarr Chevrolet in Jefferson City. Tarr family has been serving the Lakeway area since 1952 and moved into this building in 1971. Over 42 years later, you would never guess this is the same dealership. A brand new look, but we still have the most loyal and dedicated staff in East Tennessee to serve all of your automotive needs. But now, now we have the most state-of-the-art facility around. Our selection of new and used vehicles is bigger than it has ever been. One thing that hasn't changed over the last 60 years is, come trade with us or we'll both lose money. And of course, nobody beats a tar deal! Been seven days a week in offering the most affordable health care in your area. Express Health Clinic is the community's choice to getting you feeling better fast. Express Health Clinic treats for common conditions and illnesses with no appointments needed. Visit Express Health Clinic for all your school sports physical needs. Express Health Clinic also offers pre-employment services and certified DOT physicals. Ill visits start at only $59. Express Health Clinic accepts most major insurance plans along with Medicare and TennCare. Next time you're sick or not feeling well, visit Express Health Clinic. You'll feel better when you do. All right, you get a slice. What slice? I'm gonna wait. Go. No, I can't handle that. <laughs> I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Thinking about end of life care can be quite overwhelming. We understand that. When you are aware of the help that we can provide, you will be able to make an informed decision and feel ready to bring on our team of compassionate and caring medical professionals. Families that have used our hospice services tell us often that they wish they had chosen our care sooner. They don't know what they would have done without us. Relief comes easily to patients and families as our services are covered by Medicare, VA, and most private insurances. Call us today. America's Mattress. This weekend, pay no tax at the tax-free mattress sale only at America's Mattress. Serta queen-size mattresses, just $2.99. Plus, no tax. Or upgrade to any iComfort or iSeries model featuring cool action gel memory foam and pay no tax. Plus, 0% financing until 2019. Pay no tax only at America's Mattress. The sleep you need, guaranteed, only at America's Mattress. Welcome back to this week's East Tennessee Sports Report. You can see it's only myself and the judge is out. The coach is with me. Ashley is out and Will are out, but they'll all be back next week. As we wrap up things next week, we'll be on location again at another uh, pizza place. 
Well, not necessarily a pizza place. They have a little bit of everything. They have a little bit of tag. I guess I need to pick this mic up. I'm too concerned about this delicious food. You know, I got a little Brooklyn pizza hungry going on. He's always eating. <laughs> always eating. All right, since we since we covered Alcoa, let's jump into 4A. Okay. Another Knoxville team, Chris. Mm -hmm. Another Knoxville team. Fulton. Hmm. Ooh. And we got something to talk about at the end of the show about Fulton. Oh, yeah. It's got yeah, some we got some stuff. things to talk about Fulton. Fulton I'm took on Loudon last week. Really, I was I was really thinking that Loudon guys would give Fulton a game. Uh, Chris keeps saying that that Fulton, they only had one bad game, and it was because of the weather. Okay. <laughs> well, we got that from the what Cole report, huh? Yeah, from the Cole report. They, for, from Cole. They play bad in the weather. They play bad in the weather. But Fulton last week took on Loudon. Loudon was undefeated going into the game. Uh, but Fulton took care of business. They beat Loudon 56 to 7. <laughs> and you laughing. <laughs> and then we pick we pick Pearl Cone. We picked Pearl Cone to, and they lost as well because Pearl Cone put up 79 points against White House. And what the, the judge said last week, when you hang 79 points on somebody, you're supposed to win. But you know what I was concerned, though, last week? Remember, they gave up almost 40 points. So yeah, you're right. I don't care if you scored 150. You gave up 40 points, man. <laughs> you you got to get the D ready. You cannot, you cannot be prepared to go into a – Next to a championship game, giving up 40 points. You're right, and that's why they got beat. Trans Van beat them 28-12, put Carol, Pearl Cone out, setting up this this week's championship game, Fulton versus Trans Van out of Memphis. Uh, <laughs> why you be sprinkling honest. that be on there? Why you sprinkling <laughs> that that good looking Parmesan cheese on your pizza? I'm gonna pick Fulton. <laughs> You know the deal. The people know the deal. <laughs> okay. Man, where, they're ranked what? Did they move up? I, I forgot to look at the USA Today and see if they moved well, up. Well, they're still in the USA. Oh, yeah. They're still, yeah, so Fulton all the way, baby. All the way. Fulton all the way. Oh, we're yeah. going we're gonna to keep it with East Tennessee. Oh, yeah. All right. Class 5A. Another East Tennessee team. You know, they had a – they had a. West was there last year. We talked about that last week. West – with one second to go, they got beat last year by mm. one point. Mm. Okay, mm. they took on Ray County. Ray, uh, Ray County was undefeated as well. Played a hard-nosed Oak Ridge team, which I thought Oak Ridge and West would play. Yeah. But Oak Ridge, Knoxville West, went on the road. Okay. And beat Ray County 35-28, and Hillsboro beat Ridgeway. We picked Hillsboro 35-7, setting up this week's championship game. Knox West taking on Hillsboro out of Nashville. Hillsboro, no joke. They're there for a reason. They play tough, good mm -hmm. hard football. But you know, when you had a little taste, and you're so close, you're like this close. Mm -hmm. Leaves a bad taste in your mouth. So with that being said, coach has got West ready for this one. No doubt, they have been waiting 365 days for revenge. They will be in this game fired up and ready. And don't be surprised if they win by two or three touchdowns. West. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I West. like that because the West Ray County game came down to the very last. Oh, yeah, yeah. Last minute. Coach had to remind them, hey, yeah. we got to get back there. I'll take West as well. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm staying on the East Tennessee bandwagon here. Now, Class 6A, the mighty Maryville Red Rebels. And Coach George Quarles took mm. on Murfreesboro, Oakland. I was concerned again. I do not like travel, okay? <laughs> when you travel, there's too many things that can go wrong. Oh, yeah. And they traveled down to Murfreesboro last week, okay. but they took care of business. Like always. As, as Merville does. 26 14 over Oakland. And then Ravenwood took on Whitehaven. Okay. Out of Memphis. Okay. We, we you know, we, we, we. Badgered a little bit on that, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Judge yeah, last week, uh, but Ravenwood won 24-14, setting up this week's game between Maryville and Ravenwood. Okay, uh, yeah, Ravenwood. I I thought Whitehaven would take that one, so hey, you can't get them all. But with that said, um, Maryville is ranked 
Did they crack the top ten yet? I believe they were, if, if they didn't, they were right outside. They're, yeah, yeah. I know the last time I checked, they were like 11. Anyway, it doesn't matter. This this team plays good, solid football. And and mind you, last week, it was a nice, solid win. Was it 24 to? 28, 26, 28. 14. 26, 14. 14. Okay, I mean that's 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 a good solid win. They're going to take that same mentality and do what Maryville does, and that is to win. Don't care if it's by six. I don't care if it's by three. I don't care if it's by one. I don't care if it goes in overtime. Maryville's coming out of that championship game with a victory. So they bring him back to gold ball along Again. with Alcoa. Again. And West. Again. And Fulton. Again. Okay. All right. You heard it right there from the coach. <laughs> right here on the East Tennessee Sports Report. We'll be right back. Now I'm going to join him and eat oh, some yeah, of his pizza some here. good stuff here, man. Here we go now. That's how we roll. Here we go now. That's how we roll. Here we go now. That's how we roll. That's how we roll. That's how we roll. Been seven days a week in offering the most affordable health care in your area. Express Health Clinic is the community's choice to getting you feeling better fast. Express Health Clinic treats for common conditions and illnesses with no appointments needed. Visit Express Health Clinic for all your school sports physical needs. Express Health Clinic also offers pre-employment services and certified DOT physicals. Ill visits start at only $59. Express Health Clinic accepts most major insurance plans along with Medicare and TennCare. Next time you're sick or not feeling well, visit Express Health Clinic. You'll feel better when you do we can go we'll go division two and then you're gonna give your opinion about this i'm What's gonna let you do this <laughs> you I'm gonna set it up. i'll set it up i said commentary by the coach we're talking about mr football <laughs> tennessee titans mr football award i'm gonna let you do con do your little <laughs> these comments are not reflection of <laughs> <laughs> Folks are coming from all around East Tennessee to Brooklyn Pizzeria simply because they love the pizza. The Brooklyn Pizzeria pizzas are made fresh daily with plenty of fantastic toppings to choose from. Just look at that hot, delicious pizza. Come get you some right now at Brooklyn Pizzeria. And don't miss the live taping of the East Tennessee Sports Report every Monday night at 7 p.m. And take advantage of their wing specials, pizza specials, and ice cold beverages at your local neighborhood pizzeria, Brooklyn Pizzeria, Newport, Tennessee, beside the best Western office. Welcome back to the East Tennessee Sports Report. I'm your host, Roddy Woods, along with the coach, Chris Reddick, uh, the rest of the crew have the night off because of one is ill and two are working. But what we've got right now, Chris, we're going to jump in. We're going to give a shout out hey, to Cole. Hey, before we jump in, let's oh. talk about who jumped off. Who <laughs> jumped off? Go ahead. Somebody had an accident. That's why yeah. they're not here. Yeah. We're going to get him next week. <laughs> We're going to talk about, we'll talk yeah, we'll, about the judge. We'll get him on the set before we talk about the judge. Yeah, we'll you know? talk about the judge. we got to be bit. fair, though. we got to be fair because <laughs> we don't know exactly what happened. But we'll talk about him. But he uh, he had a little spill. Uh, we gave a shout-out last week to Cole. Cole, if you don't know, Cole Sams is a regular here. And I'd say he probably will not be here tonight because he is getting ready for the state championship. Yes. They tell Cole he goes to Webb School in Knoxville, private school. We want to give a shout-out to Cole. They take on BGA, that's Battleground Academy out of Nashville, this week in the Division II private school brackets. You know, we give a shout-out. You know, we've already picked this game. We picked last week. We picked Webb. You jumping off on Battleground or you staying with Webb? Oh, hey, staying with our guy, Cole, man. He comes, he supports the show, but that's not the reason. It's not the only reason we're going to choose uh, Webb. We're going to choose them because they deserve to be there. They did a good job, nice job. They walked the trail real nice, and they deserve to be right where they are. Yeah, they So did. what we're going to do is say good luck to Cole, bring back that trophy so Roddy can kiss it. Thank you. Bring it up, Cole. <laughs> we'll see you next Monday because I know you have the gold ball. Let's jump on into something else. Uh, this is this – is, we, we talked about this off camera, and it's something that's dear to Chris's heart. It is uh, the Tennessee Titans Mr. Football Award winners. Now, Chris is going to – I'm going to set this up for Chris. You know, we've went through the brackets, and we've named off the teams and finished that. <laughs> Finish it. Exactly. You named off the teams. A lot of them are from what area? Knoxville area. How many winners do we have for Mr. Football from Knoxville? You have two. 
We have two winners? You have two winners. You have Zach Stewart from Cofield. Okay. And you have Brad Mitchell from Webb. Okay, how many awards are they, though, total? There's how many Class A linemen. Yeah, class there's linemen. They're back. I mean, how many do we have? Class 2A linemen. Class 3A linemen. Yeah. Okay, Division Division 2A linemen. Okay. Division 2 linemen. Class A backs. Okay. But how, just how Double many total? A. Just count okay, them all. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Three, there's like 10. Four, 10 five, awards, five, right? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Ele 11, 11 awards. awards. 11 awards. How many from Knoxville? Two. How many Knoxville teams are in the championship? Uh, what do they count them? All, all of them. Basically. Yeah, on this side. Of the, okay, my, my point being said, where are they when it comes to being the finals? These, there's some good talent here in Knoxville. Yes, We've talked are. about some of the players. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're missing. And also, I guess where he said dear to my heart, Mr. Leading all-time leading rush of Northeast Tennessee wasn't even mentioned as a finalist. He led the whole league in rushing Buku's of touchdowns. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, we don't even want to talk about all the accolades and awards, but there's one missing. Of course, the championship, we wanted him to get that most important, but uh, I think he was at least deserving to be on the ballot to have a chance to win the award. But anyway, it doesn't matter because guess what? Things are going to be taken care of in this coming up week. When all these Knoxville teams come home with the trophy that Roddy's going to kiss. Gotcha. We'll go right ahead. <laughs> I, you know, I, I just think Chris is on to something. Chris is on to something. You got, you got five teams from Knoxville in the finals and not one. Well, you got two. You got two. Two out of 11. But, you know, there is, some, there is four, some talent. Five, four, There's some talent down there in the eight. Knoxville area. Yeah. So let's move on. UT Vandy. Vandy gets that bold win. Mm. They, the Vandy. I'm not saying here. UT gets that bowl like, win. Like, they beat Vandy yeah, yeah. to, you know, they hadn't been to a bowl since 2010. You know, it, it, I think they're on a roll. They're on a roll. You know what, though? I think from watching this game, UT was a little, little excited. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it almost, <laughs> it, it made it a tough game, which I don't think this really should have been a tough game because with the momentum UT had and the impressive wins they had towards the end of the season, I thought they would take care of business, which they did, but it got a little it got a little shaky there at some point. It well, got a little shaky. You know, I, I heard something from one of the commentators on ESPN. He talked about it was Vandy's bowl game, okay? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, it, they were not going to lay down and let no, the ball just, just give walk them a over bowl them, game. Okay? Yeah. yeah. So, I look at it like this. You get 15 more days to practice. Yeah. You don't know where you're going. Like like Butch said yesterday, it doesn't matter where we go. Oh, no. We're going. Exactly. I think this is a stepping stone that what he wants. It's another brick. Oh, yeah. It's another a nice brick. Nice brick. It's one he needed badly. You know, a 6-6, six and six, you know, at the beginning of the season right there in the middle, you had no idea. You know, I thought they wouldn't finish 6-6. Six and six. I, I actually gave him 7. I thought they could get 7. And I, I'm I'm all ball, man. I'm a VL, VLF, ball for life because I think that he's got him on the right track. Definitely, definitely. He's got him on the right track, and uh, whoever they play, you know, we'll be here to talk about. Now, you know one thing, it's going it could be interesting. They threw this this team out. Memphis play you too. Possibility of, they said they possibility were throwing out you know a Cincinnati matchup that would be nice yeah, we know why yeah, why he used yeah. to coach Cincinnati of course uh, Duke they threw that name out uh -huh. we know why former coach there and then they threw out that little state rivalry which UT you know they smashed them a lot but that one win that my brother played on <laughs> with, against Peyton Manny that was a nice one to where being in uh, Memphis, you know, from Memphis, them from the east side, that could be a possible matchup. Too. So matchup. anyway, any of those three teams would be good matchups that we would love to discuss when the time comes. And, and uh, let me throw one more. They talked about Notre Dame too. Ooh, Ooh that would be. That's because like, that's they, they've had some good traditional games. Butch too. came from came yeah. under Kelly. Yeah, that that was so you. Well, that's how you already see the strategies they're trying to put into this to make it a really interesting, exciting game. And anytime UT goes bowling, the fans are going to come out. So, you know, I feel like I'm in a disco. I think me too. The lights is, is flashing. Like one last thing we want to discuss. Oh. I saw this in the paper the <laughs> other day, and the game that people have been waiting on for years, 
it's going to come come about next year. Maryville is going to take on Fulton. What do you think, Chris? Well, I'll tell you what. We're going to take a quick break because this flashing light makes me want to dance. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. We'll, 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 East, get it. we'll, finish we'll be right back here on the East Tennessee Sports <laughs> Report to wrap things up, talk about that, and tell you where we're going to be at next week. So stay right here. What's going on with the <laughs> go out. Here we go now. That's how we roll. Here we go now. That's how we roll. Here we go now. That's how we roll. That's how we roll. That's how we roll. Trusted for over 32 years, our agency has won numerous awards and has served thousands of Tennessee residents. Tammy Francis knows that home health care isn't something you should leave to chance. It is vital that your home health care provider be a reliable and trusted member of the community they serve. That's why Smoky Mountain Home Health and Hospice invests in education and training for their staff. Many have obtained advanced degrees in health care. Just another reason to be sure to request our services when your physician recommends home care. We set the standard in the home care industry. Hi folks, this is Alonis Tarr, Tarr Chevrolet in Jefferson City. Tarr family has been serving the Lakeway area since 1952 and moved into this building in 1971. Over 42 years later, you would never guess this is the same dealership. A brand new look, but we still have the most loyal and dedicated staff in East Tennessee to serve all of your automotive needs. But now we have the most state-of-the-art facility around. Our selection of new and used vehicles is bigger than it has ever been. One thing that hasn't changed over the last 60 years is, come trade with us or we'll both lose money. And of course, nobody beats a tar deal. All right, well, I got wheel stuff. I got wheel stuff. Katie, Katie, come here, come here, come here. Come I, I, man, I got a list and I don't have Victoria with me today. I, I need to spend about $25 to $30 per person. So mm -hmm. I, I know you got some great gift ideas. So point me in the right direction. Okay, cool, I can definitely help you out. Man. All right, Thanks so much, man, we appreciate you guys. All right. Um, you got the ornaments right here. If you got okay. any females, I think you got a young lady up here. These are really good. Okay. LED lights are, are great. Okay. Um, you can never go wrong with, with two brushes. Everybody always need a toothbrush. Oh, I like that. You got I any like babies it. in the family. You got the, you know, you got the pacifiers, um, all posters. Right, all right, all right. I mean, we even got neckties for you, man. If you want, I mean, a necktie is good. So pretty much you got everything I want on my list, right? Absolutely, man. We, we try to, man. We'll definitely have something for you. That's what I need, because when I when I come in, you know, as a as a as a man here, okay, you want the females at home, I need to come in, KD or your staff can take care of me. Absolutely, man. That's what we're here for. Make sure you come by KD's or Fanatics 101's in the John City Mall. They're open seven days a week. Christmas is coming, guys. You need to get by here as fast as you can. This weekend, pay no tax at the tax-free mattress sale only at America's Mattress. Serta queen-size mattresses, just $2.99, plus no tax. Or upgrade to any iComfort or iSeries model featuring cool action gel memory foam and pay no tax. Plus, 0% financing until 2019. Pay no tax, only at America's Mattress. The sleep you need, guaranteed, only at America's Mattress. Get the right services you need from a name you can trust at Crescent Center Drugs. Whether it's hormone replacement therapy or if you need to update your immunizations for flu, pneumonia, or shingles, Crescent Center Drugs has a professional and friendly staff always ready to take care of you. That's why for many years, Crescent Center Drugs has been your good neighbor pharmacy. Right now, getting your medicine is fast and easy when you sign up for the IVR system. It's simple. Once your prescription is filled, your box is scanned, and you instantly receive a phone call or text for pickup. Visit Crescent Center Drugs inside the Crescent Shopping Center. All right, welcome back to the East Tennessee Sports Report. We're going to wrap things up. Maryville, Fulton, the thing I heard, what they were talking about, they trying to figure out who will be home the first year. It'll be a two-year deal, but it'll be a game that everybody wants to see. Everybody. Woo! Everybody's going to be excited about this one because we know Maryville's tradition. And, uh, you know, this team, Knoxville, Fulton, I mean, they've been on the rise here lately, and they've got a lot of people wanting to know, I think, who is the king of Tennessee? And <laughs> right. definitely, if these two teams win next week and come back with championships, my goodness, this may be an ESPN game. It should be. It may, we need, you know, you know, it may, be, ESPN, it may be bigger than Mr. Mad at Media. I think ESPN may pick, pick it up. up. <laughs> pick it up. It might be. So, yeah, the fans are going to be excited about this. Hey, you got a shout out to the, the crew here at Brooklyn oh, yeah. Pizza. Oh, yeah, Go for yeah. it. Let me give a shout out to the crew here at Brooklyn Pizzeria. What's up? There they are. I want to say what's up to my man John and Tanya and Brenda, Matthew, Robert, Randy, 
Haley and Richie. Hey, they've done a great job. They've helped build the set every week. They provide all this delicious pizza, the great food that we have, and they do an excellent job, you know, taking care of all the, the people here and, and providing just a good quality service. So I definitely recommend if you're coming down 40, make a stop to Brooklyn Pizzeria because the crew will take care of you. All right, guys, we'll see you next week. We'll be on the road at Gondolier over in Sevierville. So if you're in the, Gond if you're in the Sevierville area next week, come on by. We will be wrapping things up. We're going to have a little Christmas party, yeah. and we're going so make to sure, be fun. Make sure you're with us next week at Gondolier in Sevierville. For Chris, the judge, I'm Roddy Woods for the East Tennessee Sports Report.